I was up all night. I ripped like four to five. Wait, Mike does drugs again? Mike does drugs? It's funny to see you mad, bro. It's funny to see you just get pissed off at life, like normal things. He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. Jeff What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jeff FM. It's a beautiful day outside. We got Mike on the show today. It's going to be just the boys. We got Steven over there, bathroom boys. Listen, I had the best day of my life yesterday. The best thing ever happened. Mike was there to witness it. And I know it's not a big deal to you guys, but I'm just going to come right out and say it. I got verified on Strava. Ah, that's how yeah. I remember, yeah. It was a big moment. It was a surprise. It just came, just popped up on there. And you know, it doesn't mean anything. Like You guys at home are probably like, uh, like, Okay, who gives a f But that's what an NFT is, I realized. That means something to me, but it, nobody else cares. Like, your NFT is worthless to everybody else. Yeah. Right? Or in general, it's worthless now. It's worthless. So, uh, but the reason why it's incredible for Strava, too, is because uh, everywhere else now, you're starting to be able to purchase a blue check. Even on Instagram. They're testing yeah. it out in Australia right now. You can buy a blue... Dude, remember back in the day when a blue check, dude, it, instantly you're getting laid, you're getting free money. Yeah, sure. People are... You know those people with the fan with the big leaves that fan you? Yeah. Like That's that type of shit. Like. But now you could just buy one. But over on Strava, nah. you can't purchase that shit. It's not for sale. You got to turn them cranks enough time to earn one. Yeah, you got to get the miles in. You're like Casey Neistat now. Exactly. I'm just like Casey Neistat you're now. At that level. Can soak it in. No more bullshit we're doing over here. Today we got a lot of inspirational, mature stuff to talk about. We're not talking about jerking off. We're not talking about our dicks. We're not talking about women that we have sex with in other countries. We're just going to be talking about mental health. Getting off of apes. Apes? Getting off of vapes. Oh, vapes. Um, Steven prepared a story today. We, Mike, we got a lot of stuff to dive into. But first, I think I need to apologize for a couple things. You know, last time I came in here on this very show, I made a few mistakes. And some of those mistakes aren't my problem. I got a tough life, and sometimes I'm in a bad mood, and I probably shouldn't record at those times. And when Steven comes in here and interrupts my story to f***ing have a stupid question that shows that he wasn't paying attention the whole time, it makes me Dude. rethink everything. Don't interrupt me while I'm talking Dude. about you interrupted me. Oh, is that you soundbiting him interrupting me? <laughs> oh, that worked. That fucking got me that pissed off. Damn, I just lost my whole train of thought. Like, you know what it's like? It's like you're my... He, then he really you know, took over. You know what it's Bro, like, he though? Just, he, not even him. The computer <laughs> used his voice. You know that was AI. Chat he f***ed me over. You know what I do that? Because I don't think that... I don't... I forget that we're, like, shooting a live video. Dude. And I just kind of think about... It feels like you're, like, my older brother. And I just, like... I know, and I don't like that. I don't like that. And that's why I want to come on here. <laughs> and I wanted to apologize to you guys that have to listen to it. Because the reason it me up is like this is my life now you know it used to be a barber jeff's barber shop and that was my main thing but then my eye got f***ed up and i can't cut hair as much anymore so this is my main thing this is a crew that i put together the best people at podcast and the best people that could help me here bathroom boys always killing it I haven't had a complaint about you guys and probably since we started the show mike's great obviously always he's down to talk about vulnerable stuff steven sometimes you're like the weak link over here but also you're the best you're the most valuable asset and if I don't trust my team, then how am I going to believe in myself? I can't believe in myself. I don't have the confidence to go on with my life and career. I can't come on here and be my full potential if I'm just being mad at Steven. And I'm going to not be mad anymore. I'm not going to film these when I'm cranky. I'm going to wait a day. I'll push it to the next day. It might be late for you guys, but at least you don't have to hear about me complaining the whole time. And then next, I want to apologize to Mike's friends that I said took my blood for they want, saying that they wanted to make genetically engineered perfect humans. That was sarcasm. They were really nice people. We, I thought we weren't going to talk about this again. Dude. Mike told me not to talk about it, but I'm going to double down. I'm going to go against his wishes, and I'm going to straight up apologize to you guys that took my blood. I did see some lookalikes of me out there recently. <laughs> and I, don't, I, think it was, I think it was the fact that you call them scumbags. Bro. I just call everyone scumbags. I know. I explained that to them because they really are the best guys, and I work with them a lot, and they're, they're really helping me pull together my you know genetic code. You've been doing great. You, I know we that. went on that bike ride yesterday, and you were leading the way the whole time. I honestly contribute a lot of that to, to knowing what's going on inside my body. So when I brought you there to try to like find out what was going on with you, and they, you know, they went out of their way to 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 test the uh, to to do those tests for for free that are usually like two three grand, and then mm -hmm. they sit down with their popcorn. And they're like, "Dude, Jeff FM, he's gonna talk about it. He's gonna talk about it." Like gather all their friends, like <laughs> all their did, you know, like their actually, kids, actually... everybody. And then the episode comes on, and you're like, "The I walk out of the room." 
these fucking scumbags stole my blood. They're trying to create genetically perfect humans. Scumbag, scum, piece of shit. Button. Mike, they probably rented a fucking trailer and <laughs> got a fake. Like, bro, I'm sitting there. I'm like, and by the way, I had walked out for that section. So you I didn't, didn't know, know until I get a phone call. Yeah. And they're like, hey, man, we just want to let you know, dude, like, did we do something wrong? Is there a reason that Jeff hates us? Is it like, is it a trust issue from the crane? Like, what is it? Mental Ill illness yeah. or something. I'm going, sorry, you I'm going it, way too fast right now, dude. You this said is it perfectly. Insane, dude. And this is a problem that I run into a lot. I just kind of write my life as if it's a script. And if something happens, I'm like, how can I work this into my content? How can I work this into the script that is my life? And it's not, it's not like that with people. And Jeff, I, what's fucking good, bro? Okay, and I... Can throw me off with Logan. I know I've fucking burned bridges with Logan before too. Dude, you flew a Chinese helicopter, a Chinese <laughs> hot air balloon into his podcast. I did, but that was for you guys as like a gift because I know that you would like it later on. I don't even know if that episode's out yet. Okay, we we'll get back to the, my yeah. my problems. I I know when I do a <laughs> podcast here. And I'm so open and I share so much of my life. And sometimes I, I get very sarcastic. I'm gonna piss people off, and I'm, I'm I accept that. Everybody's not gonna like me. I do a podcast. Sometimes it's my family members. Sometimes I'll talk shit on here about my own dad. I'll say beat the shit out of me when I was a kid or something, which he did a little, but not, a, I exaggerate. He didn't give a shit about your Strava check. No, he didn't care. <laughs> Dude, he didn't care at all. You're like, dad, dad, I got a Strava check. He was like, that's great, Jeff. Let me tell you about this award-winning documentary I made. It's a parody. I'll send it to your phone. It was like 20 minutes long. He wanted to text it to him. I know. Yeah. He. Well, I have a brother that is a way better runner than me so oh. I'll, I'll always be living in his shadow and he'll always just tell me like like if i do a run or something and i gave it everything i got he'll be like oh yeah you're almost uh, catching up to your brother who runs while he pushes his daughters in a stroller right and he runs faster than you it's like that movie gattaca do you remember the movie gattaca where the one brother can swim really well nope too old too old see i did i did what you did to me too right. old too old it came I out did. before i was born ethan hawk you know no you say too Uma young Thurman. Never, I'm too young. You never saw that? You never saw Gattaca? Nah, I'm too Ethan young. Ethan Hawke, Uma Thurman. Dude, what is that? Really? <laughs> Damn, fucking the Jeff Wittick Reddit is going to have a field day with this <laughs> Oh, one, you're man. on? You heard, did, did that get to you? Did the Reddit yeah, get to you? Yeah, yeah. I've been hearing about it lately, dude, and it's not, you know, it's not the it's not the greatest thing that I want to hear at, you know, oh, doing the show as much as possible, always <laughs> always trying to be there for Jeff for his health and, and you know, being a friend for him in his times of need, whether it's Nerf or... You know, family members or like whatever's going on with them, I always try to be there for them. And uh, to to see the reaction in that Reddit community recently, and and by the way, from a, from a minority group, but to see how that Reddit community feels about me, especially the way that I talk about the the about the audience here at Jeff FM, which which I, I know it goes without saying now. Well, it's not one all of them. The it's just a few most bad, creative bad apples. and intelligent audiences on the on the internet. But but you know I doesn't feel good it's not something where i wake up in the morning you know take my shower brush my teeth with my charcoal toothbrush and like oh I, I, you know i'll have a cup of coffee and i'll check the jeff wittick reddit which is what i like to do mm -hmm. in the morning right and to I, it in the morning is not a healthy thing i know to do. and i and i open those messages and it's just smart it's it's you know yeah i couldn't and believe you're heavily what I was involved reading. you're heavily involved in it because well, Look, people are used to me. Don't are you reading this it right is now? Fucked. I, I thought know. the normal comments were bad on your videos about me. I'm gonna. What is this? <laughs> Actually, Steven gets a way more hate. On I, you know, I was about to apologize too. <laughs> I can't do nothing right. I hung out with a guy that tried to murder me, and then fucking blame it on me, and then I get I become friends with you, and all you do is like, I mean, what's so bad about this guy? You know. What, I understand this guy that you're pissed off that he's around and he fucks up my flow of stories and inspirational speeches. But Mike is oh, a good guy. A to speak. He's a real friend to me. He's he's there for me. What more do you want? Look, I understand Tana. <laughs> Tana is Tana, and I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses for what she's done in her life. But I love them both. I love this the fucking dumb idiot over here, and I love my crew now. I'm happy. So if you don't like it, go watch fucking Joe Santagato. He looks like me and he has a similar personality. He doesn't hang out with dumbass cloud chasers. It's just, you know, it's just, I don't know. Wait, Steven, what are you doing? Oh, he's Jay. He's stuck in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to apologize for my uh, actions on the last podcast, but I don't apologize. I'm not apologizing to anyone. I ain't apologizing to nobody. Do it in the Connor voice. Fuck them. 
Hell they I, hate me, I hate them. That's I'd how like it is. I'd like to take no, a second it. to apologize. I'm make it even worse this episode and then get fired <laughs> and go off with a bang. You're not even hired. So, hey, who is this? Uh, you fucking Break weasel. Free 99. You fucking weasel. Fuck you. That's what nice. I have to say. All right, nice. enough. Let's let's just keep, let's move on because we don't want to give them too much energy, which we've already given oh, them yeah. too much. We, should not, we shouldn't even make what? That. No, bad. it's fine. We can acknowledge you it, know, dude. It's listen. Let me it. let me. I, I do want to take a second also. To, <laughs> bro, no, so we're wasn't, I'm not even human. Oh. <laughs> I got all feelings. Bro. You're not, bro. You're not human. I was just gonna defend those people real quick that are making those comments. That, for, first and f- first and foremost, everybody deserves an opinion okay if you don't like a certain person that is completely fine and the last thing i would want truly all jokes aside is for everyone to be like wow he's so vanilla and everybody likes him that's not a winning formula that's not a winning formula if you're not creating some sort of polarization in your delivery in life if everybody likes you and everybody says wow he's such an okay guy or girl you're losing you're failing because you're not shaking the system up enough i'm sorry i just had to say it number two generally speaking (laughs) you hit those fucking drops you're getting good at that generally speaking hurt people hurt people so hurt people if you're out there leaving comments on people talking about people who are who are just trying to do the best they can being mean if you're out there calling women fat calling women threes if you're saying that women don't deserve the same amount of respect that men do if you're out there causing trouble on the internet it's because you were probably hurt by someone and so yeah you do what you need to do but understand one day you may feel better one day you may find a way to get yourself out of those troubles and you may be on the receiving end of some of that same kind of hurt so think twice buddy boy before he caused those trouble because you wouldn't want somebody to do it to you. All right, and that's it for our show today. Jeff F. F. Thank you for... That's I it. Took that's all we got. I took a full Gucci tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So you're getting out of town for a couple days uh, tomorrow, huh? Are you leaving? This topic is... <laughs> <laughs> Your monthly bags. Jeff FM. Oh, this is not. Mushrooms. Okay, so I'd like to make one more. No, apology. no, no, no! Stop, <laughs> stop, this, stop. This top next topic. The reason why I'm leaving town is not like a fun topic, and I actually don't think that we should talk about. It on okay, the show. no, I don't, I don't, I don't think. Good. Yeah, you're, you're leaving. Whatever. You okay, go to okay. WrestleMania or some shit. No, what? A prime sh- photo shoot and fucking. You know why I'm leaving. I know. I, I was just trying to give an option okay, for the so edit. You got it. Today's episode is sponsored by Mud Water. Mud Water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and a Yurvedic herb. With only a fraction of caffeine as a cup of coffee, you get energy without the jitters or crash of coffee. Mud Water leans on mushrooms in their blend of matcha and their blend of chai for sustained energy. Each ingredient was added for a purpose. Lion's mane, that's a mushroom for alertness. Cordyceps to help support physical performance. Chaga and reshi to support your immune system. Turmeric for soreness and cinnamon for antioxidants. Look, this stuff tastes great. It's better for you than coffee. I love the lion's mane because it gets my brain sharp. I'm able to come in here and interview guests and just be on top of my game. I like to mix in a little oat milk and honey and it just tastes delicious and it's good for me. Mud water is 100% USDA organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified. Mud water donates monthly to leading psychedelic research centers as mud water believes the country is in a mental health epidemic and sees psychedelics as useful tools for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health problems. Go to mudwater.com slash Jeff to support the show and use code JeffFM for 15% off. That's M-U-D-W-T-R dot com slash Jeff. All right, thank you, Mudwater, for sponsoring the show. So we left in the last video. It was you saying that you took a Blue Chew tablet, but we censored it to make it sound like you took harder <laughs> no, drugs. dude, and everybody... Th- and then you want to know something crazy? On the episode of Impulsive with Portnoy that we filmed just prior to yeah. that one that that uh shot that we did i said i had like four or five red bulls mm-hmm. and they bleeped red bull because oh well, obviously we can only talk about prime energy yeah. so i was like i was up all night i ripped like four to five Beep! <laughs> and everybody in the comments is like wait mike does drugs again mike does drugs mike does <laughs> i said probably red red bulls. Yeah. <laughs> oh it's funny it's funny to see you mad bro it's funny <laughs> to see you just get pissed off at life like normal things you know you're doing a podcast right now talking about another podcast that you did that got you in some hot water. 
It's just funny. You're in you're in a fucking simulation. This whole thing is about you, Mike. We're all just living in Mike's world. Even Logan, he's just a character in your life. There's a name for that. I think it's called Horizon Theory or something like that. I think it was like a Rene Descartes like spin-off, but it's this belief that like you just said, the world is simply a projection of your thoughts, beliefs, morals, whatever, and everyone that's in that projection is a part of you know, something that goes on inside your psyche. That's it. It's all just a projection of, of, of your mind. Yeah. I think it's called horizon theory. I could, I, I'm probably wrong. Somebody in the comments, correct me. Or if you really hate me, bring it over to the Jeff Wittick Reddit. Yeah. There you go. Talk about how stupid what, uh, the misinformation Mike was saying or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Uh, I have sense. some good news. What is it? Do we like good news here? Is it? Can I guess it? You yeah. went to see power slap and you love it. You're hooked now. You met Hasbulla. No, but do you want to talk about that first? Imagine being Hasbulla. I think they already have it pulled up. Dude, Imagine, you, have a, you have an incredible fucking team. production. See that? Imagine oh. being in Hasbulla's, um, what'd you just call it? About the thing? that Horizon you, Theory. Imagine being in Hasbulla's Horizon Theory. It's insane. Everybody's this big. Yeah. Bro, do you understand I met him in real life? I don't think anyone knows what I'm about to say. It, like, he literally was this big. I'm not kidding, dude. Yeah. He was actually... Because a baby okay, size is the size of smaller, a baby. small flashlight. <laughs> I'm not no kidding, bro. Way. Listen to me. Listen to he's me. He's he's the size of this Lacroix can. <laughs> listen to me. I love how he stands in cars. As someone, <laughs> as someone who who obviously is very good friends with Evan Dwarf Mamba, mm -hmm. I had expected him Hasbula to be like Evan size, right? Like or or just smaller, maybe. Like Evan he dwarfed them, homie. Evan is a Evan's Andre the Giant compared to this dude. <laughs> he is a full size, you know, like Manute Bowler or, or 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 you know that the tall Asian basketball player. What's his name again? The big no, fucking no. Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Yeah. yeah, he's like, dude, literally, Evan is Yao Ming compared. To <laughs> Listen to this. So I I get to the slap fest. It's me. Pull them both up. It's me. So Steve will do it. The Nelk Boys, Aiden Ross, a crack crew. By the way, dude, a crack crew of fucking people. Bro, I know. At this slap fest. I had FOMO on that too. I wish I would have went. I invited you to come. Uh, but I hated slap power slap back then. I hated it. I was like, this shit's so dumb. And I said no to that invite. I, don't, then, I mean, I don't even I have don't a real thought on it at all. It. But I, I will say this. I, and I want, before I go any further, I have to say, <laughs> I, oh shit, dude. This is crazy. I don't even know if I can say this. I love Steve Will Do It. He, he actually may be one of my favorite people on the planet. A nice kid, yeah. He is so, I, I've known him for a long time, but I really got a chance to spend like two full days with him. This kid is one of the purest, nicest people. And it really does make you think about the fact that he's like super banned. Bro. I know, banned off YouTube. Like you can't even, you know, you can't even put. Evidently, Nell can't even put him in a video now. It's a no. rap, bro. If they put him in, they get, they can get banned. And I it, just don't. I mean, bro, he is. Now I understand his content. Has anybody is, else ever been banned like that? I mean, Alex Jones. But he said that. Bro, he said all. I, dude, the stuff that Steve did is like he. he no, 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 no. He bitch. was walking the line, I guess. But like, dude. This kid is just such a pure dude. So who's bro. been banned right now? Because there's Aiden's banned, right? Is Aiden banned from? Nah, uh, he's not banned right now. He's banned on Twitch, not nah, on YouTube. Nah, he's not. He's, and and by the way, I think Aiden's Twitch bans are like on purpose, just to draw more attention to the fact that oh, he's yeah? on kick. You know what I'm saying? That is kind of. But but no, but Steve's is different, bro. Steve, I think what happened was not only was he like walking the line and like pissed people off by default of the fact that he was walking the line, but he also took shots. Like over and over at YouTube. Yeah. Like it was tweeting at um, yo fuck I mean, YouTube. What I, like, I did at one point, but that was me back when I was a little. I was closer to Steve's age, and I was like, I'm gonna lash out. I'm gonna fight fire with fire. Yeah, Steve's you know? so young, bro. He's like 22, 23, 20, 24 maybe. But uh, anyways, I love that kid, bro. He's just such a good guy, and it, it was cool to spend time with him. But back to the to the fucking paperclip sized human if you we, had if you had to leave that slap power slap thing with a small boat maybe like a canoe and you could only fit three people on it and hospital counts as a half but it yeah or, but then where am i gonna find another half a person if i take him uh that's a good point i mean if you had another like hospital if, like a, if i could locate a second russian <laughs> fucking yeah yeah whatever it's yeah, so you'd have Lava Steve. Lamp. Yeah, and maybe yeah, you could bring a uh, maybe a piece of furniture from the hotel if you pick Hasbula. <laughs> a stool. So you're on your canoe. You yep. could bring 
three people. You're bringing Steve. I can bring three people or two people. Are you bringing Aiden? How many people can I take? You can take three. Three people with me? And Dana White's one of them, too. Because he's at the power slap. Dude. Or you could have the contestants in power slap. I guess first... You want to bring the ring girl that you hooked up with out there? Dude, I love her, dude. She's <laughs> yeah, I like so how he doesn't great. even say, like, dude, you can't so put great. that in. No, I don't care about that one, dude. That's like a known thing, dude. I love her, dude. I, I would even say, dude, I actually love her so much. Like, she's so great. She makes me laugh so much. Like, I, if she's, like, tapped like Lana was, like like really really like needs to go away for a while but like she's great bro oh yeah well not really but she's just she's a bit porn, porn stars. Stars. Well, you gotta be crazy uh, does she Vegas. do ufc too like not nah, showing ring cards for power slap is that a ring do you call that a ring girl that's like i would call like a round card person or is that like, like a slap square, girl square, or, slap a podium girl. A, a podium, podium girl podium girl because they have octagon girls they have ring girls for boxing i'd say like a like a Podium girl, yeah, Podium slap girl. girl. She's a slap girl. So three people on the boat, dude. Um, you bring the girl. You bring. Nah, Ezra. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna bring her yet. So so first and foremost, you got You got to think about my priority list. You would think it could be love, it could be friendship. Obviously, first and foremost, I'm thinking about business, right? Hasbula. David the German. He's got to continue to shoot, dude. And by the way, that's great content on the boat. I'm sorry, I need a shooter, dude. Yeah. So first and foremost, David the German, seat number one. Seat number two. Look at this guy up here, man. You're not gonna bring him. I'd say probably Tav, because he was there too, and Tav he's, he's over a, Hasbula? Bro, I can't take Hasbula, dude. First, you and, understand? Bro, do you the understand the money you can make off this kid? He'll solve every problem in your life. He's definitely got some magical powers too. If you rub him or something, yeah. your wishes will come true. <laughs> no, you're not wrong about that. He. So the thing with Hasbula, you could probably is, rub him and be like, "I wish for three more spots in this canoe." Bro, it's like it's like imagine on the Titanic boats. Remember when all the the ones were leaving half full with the rich people, yeah. and everybody's still stressed about that to this day. Like, yo, you left fucking all these people on the boat. You didn't left the violin players because the rich people took half a boat. That would be like taking fucking Hasbro to the fucking <laughs> so deodorant you say he cancer, to live, bro. Because <laughs> he's small. Bro, every, you said everybody's gonna die, bro. But I can't take him. He's because that's gonna leave half a spot in the boat. You put him in the barbershop bag. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Dude, I guess and not to mention. Bro. Bro, the dude rolls with five KGB guards. Literal KGB, dude. Yeah, but you you don't have to deal with him. Uh, oh, how him. am I supposed to tell them, uh, no, sorry, you guys can't come. I'm taking Hasbro. <laughs> they pop me, bury me in a fucking hole like they did in Siberia, and take and they'd take the boat. And then David the German and Tav, who you know probably shouldn't be hanging out alone for obvious reasons. <laughs> okay. So the whole trip I'm looking for Hasbro. Where the hell is he? This kid's got more clout than than potentially than Jesus, dude. He he is he is clouded up. Mm -hmm. I heard these stories. I don't. He doesn't take pictures with girls because of religion. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. Watch out oh, for the wow, KGB. That's a good point. I've never seen him in a picture with a woman. Never. So all day I'm looking for him. I find Steve will do it. That's a close call. Then I find Kyle from the Nelk Boys. This dude's basically like his babysitter at this yeah. point. He fucking with him constantly. Where is Hasbula? Can't find him anywhere. So then I get to Slap Fest 2023. The big Slap Jesus is about to go on. People are slapping the shit slap out of each Jesus. other. Even off stage, people are slapping each other. It's crazy, bro. Did, did a fight break out? In the no, it was just in the lounges. Like it was like, oh, they would go to take a shot, smack the shit out of each other just yeah. to like warm up, you know? Boys, girls, everything, bro. So I get to the seats. And I look and I see Aiden Ross front row, just got the big kick contract. Everybody's slopping on his fucking hundred million dollar mm -hmm. dick, bro. Like ridiculous, right? Front row. Damn, and Aiden I, Ross. You believe that? Rich, one of the richest kids on the insane. planet right now. And I look next to him and I see a chair. And he's, there's Aiden Ross and like half his body is at the above the top of the mm -hmm. chair, the back of the chair. Like I, because I'm from behind. And I look and I see the top of the chair. And just over the top of the chair, I just see a little a baby head, head. A, little a little baby head, tiny head, bro. Just like the same size as the head on that Streamy's award. You see the Streamy award right there behind you? Look at that. This has been talk like this. What he's filming? What he's filming right there? That's the best yeah. clip ever. Dude. He's known he's eating a cereal. Yeah, and, and I mean, he, he just got so many. Even the video that just came out when he was in Vegas, some complex just posted it. They saw him in the car. And they run up, they're like, yo, Hasbula. It was, it was such a like heartwarming video because they get so excited to see him. And they're like, yo, what's up, man? And he says back to them, what's up, man? Like he said it in English. He did? 
Yeah. He didn't say shit to us. It was me. Dude, you got to understand. So there he is sitting next to Aiden, but he's not talking. He's not saying anything to anybody. He's looking just dead ahead, you know, dead stare in his eyes. Like at any moment, he could make one call to the fucking Kremlin. He loves violence, You know what I'm saying? Right? 100%. 100%, dude. So he's just sitting there just watching people smack the shit out of each other. And I went up to to one of his KGB handlers. By the way, AK... You know, oh, yeah. three or four AK 47s. Yeah, all of them loaded up grenades, everything in the fucking stadium. Just walking around. Walking around. Just because the Hasbulla Pass? Yeah, they have walkie talkies. Evidently, somebody told me they have direct connection to Russian MiGs for Missiles? for missile and um, strafing runs. Where so, does that come in? Because that's like, like, I understand Hasbulla, like, he blew up over the past couple of years or mm-hmm. a year or whatever. Like, he yeah. gets verified. You get the blue check. And yeah. then you get, like, the nuke pass. I don't know what it is. I don't know if, like, Putin's, like, specifically interested in him as, like, a, like, kind of like a, yeah, like a propaganda or, or even just, like, a, a goodwill card because of all the stuff that's been going on over with Russia and stuff. Like, I don't know if he's, like, dude, if we hold on to Hasbulla, like, well, you know what I'm saying? You think he's working with them, like, some sort of KGB yeah, spy? Yeah, I think so, like probably. A, like, like, he's an informant gathering Pro- information? Yeah, probably. Man, I don't know about an informant. I think if anything, look, look at him. I mean, if they were to genetically engineer a little drone person to come <laughs> over here or something, that that'd be the, that'd be what it would <laughs> ideally just look like. Hundred percent, dude. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's dude. That's a hundred percent. And just make them so cute that nobody bro. would sus- suspect, suspect anything. anything. It'd be like what? It's like it's like you know when people put a camera in the teddy bear at their house for the for the nannies. Yeah. And the teddy bear just sits there and it has a camera in one of its eyes. That's like what Hasbro is, bro. What? So so um, I and went that up, whole I don't take pictures with women thing might just be like maybe because women can sniff it out more than men or something like women the drone. Are smarter, yeah. yeah. So I went up to the handler and I was like, and the handler speaks English. Uh, and I was like, uh, or actually, sorry, Tav went up to him. Was like, "Yo, can can Mike Malak and Aiden and I take a photo with Hasbulla?" And he like, I, I think he like had a like walkie talkie to someone in back in Moscow. Yeah, gets the word back. The they're cleared. Whatever goes up to Hasbulla is like, you know, like whatever. Right? <laughs> yeah, that like, sounded good. All right, and then we just fucking banged out some selfies. You got the selfie? Or you have access to it or no? Everybody's uh, seen uh, it all over the all world. Right, if, any, if you're gonna pull up anything, get that video off Complex. The one of Hasbulla in the car. Hasbulla! Let's go! Yeah! What a dog! Oh, what a oh my God. He's just like God, standing in the bro. car with his phone enjoying life. He's so great, dude. I just, I didn't get that same energy. I guess like you said, I think when he's at like combat sports events or like violent events he he he's, yeah because he's at disney world i think with with the nelk boys right now like driving cars like when he's with them he's chilling but whatever reason that night dude he was he was ready to fuck in yeah i gotta meet him but also like you know how they say you don't want to meet certain people you really <laughs> you don't want to hear heroes, your idols. idols yeah. yeah and say i have a bad experience with them and then every time i see these pictures because he he genuinely brings me joy when i see him just come across my feet or something i don't he's like the one person that like meme person that I haven't got burnout with, you know? Yeah. Like remember the the guy that was drinking the cranberry juice riding the skateboard? Yeah. After like two weeks, I was like, all right, bro. I think he got arrested or something, or he's homeless. I don't not know. Surprised. Something happened with not him. Not surprised. Or like and I'm uh, not even saying that because of his like background. Right, but right, because right. he blew up so quick, you're gonna crash and burn real quick. Cause that's how it goes. Look at Steven, what happened to him? Yeah. You know, look at me. I fucking go up quick and then I come down and crash. I knew, you know, that, I knew actually, that was gonna happen. I, I gotta I got I'm sorry, I gotta double check this. He was the Dog face. Do- dog face. I think you got arrested for weed though. Yeah, it was. That's right. Damn, what state's still arresting people for weed? Yeah, it was Idaho. Damn, I had a completely different uh a completely different idea of that guy. I thought he was like a, one of the GTA characters. Oh damn. Oh man. Bro, he looks dude. like a bad dude. I think that's why the vi- the video went so viral is cuz like look at this guy being so charming and and just like this wholesome video of this guy. Yeah, he definitely gets, has he a few charming. bodies. He just no, nah, he's charming. He just likes the devil's lettuce, bro. He looks like all the guys Cody was hanging out with. He got a misdemeanor charge of possession, possession of marijuana and drug paraphernalia. You in, had some trouble with that. In last Idaho. One. It's probably just a pipe and some weed. That's crazy, bro. You got, yo, free, free my dude, dog face, dude. Yeah, like, free dog face. Yeah. He's out already, yeah. bro. He's not fucking it's doing time for a, a joint. Okay, real quick. Today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. 
That's why it's America's number one meal kit. With the cost of groceries going up and up, now is the perfect time to get started with HelloFresh. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes to choose from for all meal occasions, lifestyles, and preferences. Take your pick from meals like soy glazed salmon with rice or mushroom with chai risotto. I'm personally right now trying to bulk up and eat a lot of healthy, clean protein and like meats, like fish and chicken and steak and salmon so hellofresh is doing the trick for me right now last you know. week when you were sick i've been came and actually stole your your hellofresh did he really yeah so hellofresh has been saving us time money and unwanted calories go to hellofresh.com slash jefffm60 and use code jefffm60 for 60 percent off plus free shipping that's hellofresh.com slash jefffm60 and use code jefffm60 for 60 percent off plus free shipping all right thank you hellofresh america's number one meal kit for sponsoring the show now back on with it i got some good news regarding criminal activities yeah go ahead what is it dude honestly man you know well, hold off a sec. That's not all right. I, I don't like to like brag or boast. Same, me too. And I try to be careful because, bro, the way that I'm built, I always think like if I say something about something good that happened, it's it's gonna somehow be stripped away from me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was even I was hesitant to talk about my Strava check. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Fresh. Like you're gonna say, motherfucker. Like you go mm -hmm. home, like mom, look, the teacher gave me an A at school. Then you find out the teacher was fucking mm -hmm. doing some shit in the bed, and it was the A was a result of you know misvoting or, or gerrymandering you know Statutory what i'm saying whatever exactly with with your exactly teacher. yeah exactly well there's been a lot of it lately there's been lunch ladies in connecticut crazy shit going on by the way the lunch ladies that do that kind of stuff now are so hot do you do you see the do you see the teachers are getting in trouble now for for doing no a no no way oh, no way a lunch lady is homie every week now a teacher is getting arrested for like having affairs like a hot woman teacher for having affairs with someone in their class dude and they're smokes bro they're hot i'm not i'm not kidding dude you gotta see some right, of his pull pictures pull up a hot lunch lady pull up the last one lunch. connecticut lunch lady arrested for I got, it, I got it i got it whatever bro look no at this way. shit dude Come on, <laughs> show, yo, now show an average lunch. Type in lunch lady from Billy Madison. Type in lunch lady, because this is who the, my lunch lady was when I was in school. I swear to you, I had a lunch lady that looked exactly like this. Pull, play the video, yeah. no, play the video, dude. <laughs> yeah, evil. <laughs> I made an extra sloppy uh. <laughs> bring yeah. on those. Uh. I know how you get like I'm sloppy. <laughs> Lady, you're scaring us. <laughs> <laughs> dude, so like, oh, so like you look at them now and you're like, damn, dude, like, where were they when I was in school? And that's, you know, not to make light of the fact that they probably, they 100% shouldn't be doing what they're doing. Anyways, what I'm getting at is this. I try to be careful with my bragging and boasting. But after 17 years of being a registered in the state of Connecticut, I got a letter today that I have been pardoned of all criminal charges. No way. Did you, did you get a lawyer on that? Yeah, it took me a bunch of tries. I went through a bunch of different, you know, legal battles with it. But all the charges I was convicted of, I, I, I have been cleared of, and I can legally go to anyone now and say that I've never been arrested, which is crazy, bro. Who'd you strangle again? No, Your no, lunch no, no. lady? That, yeah, no. What? Just shut up. I'm having a moment here, okay, right? Okay, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, uh, dude, you, you just pulled a Steven on me, bro. I don't even know what planning I'm on now. I was fuck, having such man. a great moment. When like, you so come around, it's fun to be Steven. It's fun to come in here with no plans and fuck up whatever no, these but, people but are listen, working on. No, but listen, but listen, all I'm trying to say is this, dude. A lot of things that happen in life, bad things that happen to you, whether they're addiction or arrests or convictions or family battles, you feel like those things are going to stick with you forever. Like they're going to stain you for the rest of your life. And felonies are one of those things. And there was a there was a time in my life where I thought I would never be free of this. There was never a time be able to go to Canada. I would never be able to go to Canada, never be able to get a job, never be able to do a lot of the things that people like to do, never be able to, if I wanted to, own a, a, a firearm, anything. Date right? a porn star. Whatever. Well, no, you could do that. You could do that whenever, probably. Probably felonies help with that, if anything. You know? Go on, sorry. So Steven D again. Turn it up, the music. He'll get into it. It's too loud. It's too loud. You can't even hear him now. <laughs> but I want to say this to anybody out there who's in one of those ruts right now and thinks that whatever they're going through is going to last forever. It's not. Let's hit a weather segment because it's too much, too much mental health. Yeah, what? 
That was fucking fast, bro. This wasn't even edited. Damn. Wow. What's up, you no good felons? <laughs> yeah, what's this? What are you? What is this, some sort of workout? I'm uh, done with the weather. And today, I embark on a new journey. What's that? It requires no skills at all. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be a life coach for people like Mike, for people <laughs> like Steve, people who need to get out of their butt. Not me, though. People, I need to put a smile on their face. Okay, hit them with something. What do you got? Well, health is well. Stole that. Did you think about that ever? Stole that one. All right, integrity, mothers, generosity, you just attitude. Saying words. What are you reading the signs off the walls in your mother's house? Live, no. laugh, love. What are you gonna Let say next? <laughs> Let me finish. Integrity, integrity, mothers, yeah. gratitude, attitude. Why? These are the things that matter. I'm gay. That's <laughs> clip that's that. the clip that. That sound. Clip that. That's our new fucking soundbite for Ryan. That's the program. Um, Jeff, thank you for earlier today emailing me and signing up, being my first sign up for the I'm Gay program. I really appreciate that. I'm taking on new clients. So anybody out there watching, you can just message me on Instagram. It's a 10K bundle and i'll be your life coach every day i'll wake you up and inspire you are you trying to be cody nope just, this was inspired just, by cody huh you no. know it subliminally it was subconsciously why is he a life coach he thinks he is it takes no skills so i mean it makes <laughs> sense for him to be a life Bro, coach if cody sees this episode you are fucked my <laughs> man He's gonna fucking beat you down. <laughs> I, I, don't have any, I don't have any skills either. That's why I'm doing this. Stick to the weather, pal. Stick to the fucking weather. Don't Get tell me right. what to do. Get it right next time. No, this is what this is what I want to do. Steven, what do you think? Yeah. Are you signing up? Yeah. Have you been in a rut lately? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to join our game? Yeah. <laughs> Say it with me. <laughs> I, I'm uh, gay. gay. Bro, we can't do I'm this. I'm not even gay. What is it? What is it? You what? two fucks, you try to sabotage this show every week. I don't know why I have you on every time. Because you come in here and you're like, let's try to get Jeff canceled. Let's get the show canceled. No. What does the acronym stand for again? Integrity. Mother's gratitude attitude. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Did you, you just throw, like the word why? Wouldn't it be I'm gaw? Or is it just a letter? On God? <laughs> on God? Maybe, like, why? No, is it, if you're saying why, like the last thing is why, is that the word on, why or just a I'm random God. letter? Well, everybody needs a why in the morning, Mike. Some of us need a why we need to do the things that we need to yeah, do. Yeah, so wouldn't, wouldn't I that get be- I behind that, yeah. yeah. but wouldn't that be why, like W-H-Y? Purpose. It's cooler, it's cooler if it's just- That's a goalpost. Purpose, it's, purpose. Just, it's like purpose, is like what yeah. you're saying, why? What's my purpose, why? why? Why am I doing this today? No, but like why, W-H-Y? Why am I attracted to men? So how would you say that, how would you, just, spell, how would you spell that why? Why? Jeff. <laughs> no, Jeff, how would you spell it? Why? Why, the letter Y. <laughs> Let him have it. We gotta wrap it up. We gotta get him off. Do you yell, guys? Sorry, before you go. Hey! I like that orange beanie, Jeff. Thank you. You're not really a beanie guy, and I think it looks great. All right. I think you yep. should try new things, and you should continue to try new things, because that's what every day is about. Getting up and trying new things. Try new things. But at least you're out there, and you're, you're doing it. And I'm proud of you. All right, let's wrap it up. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next I miss, week. I miss... What? You're... <laughs> we just hit the sound effect first before we drop them. That was cool. All right, today's episode is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever searched your name on a search engine? If not, you may be surprised at the amount of personal information available online. Your full legal name, email, home address, phone numbers, and more can be easily found online by anyone. This isn't just true for you but also for your friends and family. We are thrilled to partner with Aura. Aura is an all-in-one online safety solution that helps protect you and your family from identity theft, financial fraud, and online threats before they happen. With Aura, you can rest easy knowing that someone is looking out for you. The app scans the dark web to look for your email addresses, passwords, social security numbers, 
and other sensitive information. If anything is found, you'll receive an alert in no time. If you're a victim of ID theft, their experienced white glove fraud resolution team will help you navigate credit bureaus, help you initiate credit freezes or lock, and work with you around the clock to resolve it. Aura offers a suite of tools to protect you and your loved ones, including real-time alerts on suspicious credit activity, computer virus protection, parental controls, a VPN, and a password manager. It's a comprehensive online safety solution that provides almost every tool you'll ever need all in one place. Aura also helps reduce annoying robocalls, telemarketers, and junk mail by sending takedown requests on your behalf regularly. For a limited time, Aura is offering our listeners a 14-day trial plus a check of your data to see if your personal information has been leaked online. All for free when you visit Aura.com slash JeffFM. That's Aura.com slash JeffFM to sign up for a 14-day free trial and start protecting you and your loved ones. That's Aura, A-U-R-A dot com slash Jeff FM. Certain terms apply, so be sure to check the site for details. All right, now back on with the show. What's going what's on? Going on? Yeah, yeah, what's, what's, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? No, 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 I just noticed those down-tempo vibes. Let's talk about this. What's going on with you? Is this another bit for attention? No. And then now you guys want to slander me on Reddit. You're acting like Cody on the last show. He didn't say what? anything. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have read the Reddit. As we do a pod. Oh, bro, yeah, that's getting yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah, I know, I can tell. Well, I've I hope never you're read fucking hate happy. I, I've never read hate comments about that, like that, about me in my life. That was bad. This is pretty bad. This is rough. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at what you fucks did to him. Not you guys. No, yeah, them. But <laughs> somebody in there. I want... Uh, I hope I'm you're happy. Can, 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 let me, let me, can I sure. explain something? And please, I cannot interrupt me. Is this re- you want it real? Yeah, this is real, real. real. Let it out. I post awkward TikToks, right? Um... Bro's still doing the same thing. Okay, so I try to do something new on TikTok and I post something new, it flops, bro fell off. Okay, let me come on the show and try to get away from that. Uh, bro doesn't contribute anything to the show. He sucks, he doesn't talk enough, he's annoying, whatever, right? So then I go do a podcast with my, my, my other friends, right? Try to, you know, try something new again. And then that show gets hate, gives even more hate than anything else we've ever done I'm like okay so this isn't working well that one sucks no, go on with your story <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, sorry the man tits when they that's talk shit fair. on us over here all the time they go they literally, so it, they literally the, talk the moral of the story sorry, is sorry, it feels like no matter what I do no one likes it I just can't seem to get anybody to, and I'm just trying to be myself I don't know what I don't know what to do to see the fucking and this is what I like to do part of this that a few comments on from anonymous people that are, don't even have their own account name they go on a, on a fucking other platform to talk shit they got to you when you have a following of a million people. Congrats on that. You hit a million on TikTok. There's a million oh, people there that support you there. And they leave positive comments. They like your videos. You get asked for pictures everywhere we go in public. You get asked for more pictures than Jeff does. Relax. Dude, they really fucking hurt this kid. Dude. I know, they did. That's fucked up. Now they I'm mad. Now well, I'm mad. Well, it, you, because your skin be- gets thicker over time. I and was just if I would have done yeah. this career when I was your age, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. No shot. I don't know how these, especially the young girls, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. Because me and Jeff still talk about this to this day. Occasionally, we'll see something and we'll be like, damn, dude. Like he says, we'll have 10,000 good comments and then there'll be one bad comment that will stand out and it'll fuck with you. Me personally, Steven, I didn't want to say this so bluntly early, but I'll just go ahead and say that. (laughs) That's part part of it. It happened over time. No, 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 it did. It It took time. Steven, Steven, listen to not what anybody says. But you did at one point. Even Steven, Steven. You did at one point, though. At one point, I did deeply. And now you own a $4 million house. Even the biggest creators in the world, the biggest commentary communities in the world and their whole army I don't care. There is not a single person that I give a fuck about their opinion, except for the people that I care about, love, and are in my hemisphere. Find your generals, you being the core leader, and depend on those motherfuckers to no end. All this bullshit doesn't matter. They don't pay the mortgage. They don't pay the rent. They don't put gas in your car. Well, by default, some of them do, but those are the ones that like you. Do you want to know what those kids that are talking shit on Jeff FM's Reddit are doing right now? They're at their in their basement jerking off, dude. Doing nothing. Nothing, Steven. Fuck them. Speak more directly to the people that say, Steven's funny. We love Steven. Jeff's great. Mike's great. We love this show. Because guess what, Steven? The people that succeed in this world are positive. They have good energy. Do you want to know where the infectious people go? Into the fucking sewer into the dumpster nobody wants to fuck with them they're cancer cut them out of your fucking life immediately give them no attention they are useless 
they're talking shit to you because they currently, here's the good news, you all have a chance to redeem yourself and get out of it. I was useless once too. I was worthless once too. I was a shit talk. Well, I was never that, but I was useless. They have a chance to redeem themselves, but currently, Stephen, they are not worth your time and attention. Continue yeah. focusing on the good energy and continue doing what you do and doing whatever you want to do. That's it. But also, look, it's tough on us right now because we don't like to see you like this and we know because we've been through it and been around here a lot longer. But the feeling that you're feeling right now is normal. It's natural human instinct to make people want to like you. If you see somebody that doesn't like you, we have kind of like a radar back to when we were cavemen. Like, oh, this guy don't like me. It's like instinct. You know, like I got to have everybody liking me. It's just the way the human brain is programmed. Well, yep. I think the worst 100%. part is that I'm just trying to, I really genuinely am just trying to be myself. So when people don't like that, that that's where it hurts the most. It's like, damn. <laughs> well, you know, you're being an sure. exaggerated character. Well, yeah, you're a good actor. Honestly, and if people think you're times, that awkward, then they are complimenting your acting skills. Because if they can't tell and they think that's how you, you actually are, which, which, you know. That's another problem, too, when you're doing, uh, being a character they're looking at they're it's they're responding to you as a human they're not saying wow steven's character is so whack so you read those and you're like damn dude like that hurts bro i can i can relate to that i understand Which, it just it, makes dude. it hard to keep like wanting to keep doing it you yeah know? it's like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you just want to be like okay fuck it, all, all you guys you but then you're saying fuck you to the fans that yeah you but actually then you think are they right like damn like then you start to hate you know what I mean? That's dude you just got to keep doing you you got to do whatever because because listen there's likes there's dislikes and then there's views. Okay. You, so, so like think really quickly, which one of those drives ad revenue, which one of those drives sponsors, which one of those drives engagement from your community, which one of those gets you hugs when you go out? Is it the mass, the, the viewership, the whole audience, or is it the couple of these and the couple of those? Don't worry about that. Focus on what you want to create, what's succeeding, what's doing good, what what is making you continue to be fulfilled in life, and just continue to do that. You don't have to cater yeah. to this side or that side. I still have people all the time. See, here's where here's the difference. I have no problem with it when it's I don't like Mike. I hate Mike. I uh you know this Logan kid Paul's sucks, whatever. Boyfriend. That's Logan Everybody Paul's boyfriend, Lana Zach, whatever. None How of that did matters. You deal with that? In, the, in like the beginning of like impulsive, you got so much hate. Like I would see like you get all this hate. How well, you back know? then, how did you I would, like go to sleep and, and like see this? Did you even see them? Like, did you ignore them or? No, I mean, you, it, we, I would, you would see the comments, but like, what, how this, does is that not, this is really, if this is your dream. This is going to sound. Is this is going to sound fucked up, dude. And I hate being like I'm being really vulnerable on or like transparent on the show. But I would just always be like, yo, these people are fucking stupid. <laughs> Like yeah. I hate to say that, like you never second guess and like thought. No, right? because I'm I, because I'm really smart and have continued to succeed in life against all odds. On, on so like I so like I would see these comments from these people and it would be all misspelled. Like Mike's an idiot, and it would be like I D I A T, and I would be like, sorry, I'm gonna take time out of my day right now to read this. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair, comment. to be fair, the other audiences you were talking to were not as intelligent as intelligent. No, as this the, audience the here is, is easily one of the, now. the smartest and, and brightest, uh, you know, intelligent. Except for a few planet. bad apples, a couple redditors, yeah. But bro, uh, but long they're everywhere, and we got into it. We got into a, a different territory now, where we tried to branch branch out, make a subreddit, and you know, just do more shit. Could you create a Reddit based solely around positivity? <laughs> We've been trying. Yeah. Wait, can you can you remove people from a Reddit yeah, group? Uh, yeah, we're gonna block all those motherfuckers. No, 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 no. Let them have that yeah, it's one. Like 4, no, people. no, no, <laughs> no. So, the whole thing. It's not four thousand. It's a group of fucking haters, Stephen. They they band together and fucking hate from anonymous accounts they can't even meet up because they're all secret but dude like d can you really for a second can we all just take a moment for steven's sake H here's another thing that always helped me beautiful beautiful meditation to meditate and visualize i don't know how to do that who, <laughs> who this person is steven that has created an anonymous account to comment on steve fucking awkward steven's online content like for a second really steven who do you think this guy is do you think he's a Probably successful businessman no listen you think he's a successful businessman do you think he's a he's married with a with a, a beautiful wife and children do you think he's the kid that, do you <laughs> think that what it do, was do, that. do you think he's the kid that's at school that's that's you know on, or, or steven or just give me a quick persona build out of what you think this Anonymous, awkward <laughs> Steven, <laughs> Jeff good. FM Redditor looks like, or or is like. Just what do you think he's like? A f 
<laughs> oh, bro. <Dex. laughs> oh, my God, dude. Yeah, let me read you that. <laughs> yeah, I can't read you that. <laughs> you gotta leave that one in, but believe it. You got, cause that... Yeah, yeah but I'm gonna censor his mouth, everything, but fucking, because he's gonna have a I whole new Reddit really, about him yeah, after that one. That was really bad. That was bad. Let me, can you just re-ask me that? What do you think that persona <laughs> actually looks like? <laughs> kid in high school maybe that gets bullied or something like a dude that's not too happy i guess with his life. <laughs> why'd you fucking so crossfade into kyle See? no no they crossfade <laughs> cross into kyle the way you think he looks like do you think he looks like kyle <laughs> this has been kyle do you think that is or, or by the way do you think it possibly is kyle no Be honest, have you ever thought about that I, probably he's like a, a guy that looks like you can cut that, but we can, just, we can bleep it, but don't. Can we show a silhouette of him? <laughs> <laughs> Doing coke? Yeah, some guy like that. Okay, got it. What you said earlier was really nice. You know, all that matters is what your friends and family think, the people that are close to you. And, you know, when you're out here exposing yourself to millions of people, which you are, you can't please everybody. There's going to be at least 1% of those people that don't fuck with you, don't like you, don't get you, maybe they're not oh, smart enough to get your humor. Like 1%. Even if it is 1% of like a million, you know what 1% of a million is? A thousand. Is 10, it? 10,000. It's 10,000. Yeah. You know but also, you can see where I'm coming 10, from there, right? You do this, it doesn't work, you get hate, so you do something else, that gets hate. There's always gonna be hate. That's life. 99% of hate in this world is not hate, it's jealousy wearing a mask. Hate is born from jealousy. These people are sitting at home, watching someone succeed, watching someone do something that makes them happy, watching someone do something that makes them money, something that they get to be their own boss doing. And they're sitting at home and they're upset, they're sad, they're jealous that Steven gets to do what he wants to do. Steven gets to have an opportunity oh, to do the yeah. things that they yeah, want to yeah, do. Yeah. And that upsets them. And so as opposed to going and doing it themselves, as opposed to networking and doing what maybe I did and finding the right people to be around and learning from them and creating like them and doing the same things networking. that they do, they sit at home <laughs> and they create okay. anonymous accounts and they call you names. But what if it's a comment and it has like a hundred likes on the comment and you're like, damn. Everyone agrees with them. Well, like that's another like problem too in today's society. Yeah, is that they is we have we've, from comments. We've, no, we've that? gamified hate. What is that? Bro, yeah, we, all the we, top we do it. We do it. Is... When you see a TikTok of somebody that you don't like or they're cringe or something, you go to the comments to look at, oh, let's see somebody roasting them. Yeah, it's but like, do you ever leave a bad comment? I know. Ever. Never, no, have never, you ever, ever left a Never. Do you want to know why? Because no successful people do. There are nowadays some scumbags are being elevated, but like for the most part, bro, 98% of successful people they would never you think fucking michael jo you think any of these guys are like oh damn dude look at my competition or somebody i want to be like and goes and comments yo you're a pussy l ratio on yeah. their fucking tweet they're going and doing it they're going and learning how can i do this how can wood. i do this shit who 50 cent 50 yeah, cent would he's yeah 50 would yeah He's one of, but but don't be like that. That's, well, fifty actually is somehow he, he, makes he it cool. somehow he makes it cool, and it's not as bad because he goes at people that have like kind of like gone at him. Like the I'm guy spitting all over the, the place. guy today that he beefed with was like a guy that took five percent of his uh, cognac company, and he exposed him like posted his house and shit. Was yeah, like, like fuck it. I don't even know what he was. Doing. It was a lawsuit, and he won all of his assets. Oh, he won all the guy's assets? It was $6.2 million in assets. How about the ass? And he posted them. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got all your shit. Got your ass. I mean, 50's very good at man, doing man. it. Dude, you gotta... You gotta, Fo you gotta focus on the love, Steven. You get so much love. Like that Black Eyed Peas song, you know? Where, Where is, is the, the love? love? Where the sure, give, is give it? Give us like... <laughs> you get plenty of fucking love. We love you. No, I know. Cut that. <laughs> bro, this whole show's getting cut. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> all these fucking inspirational rants, bro. Let's talk about. Some you should leave more of them. Man, they you do really about... well. They they clean up. I know you go for mostly the like can, like the bad stuff. Yeah, dick jokes. Yeah, no, oh no, like drama. Like, remember when I walked off the set in that ra heated rage? Yeah, that shit went uber viral. Bro. I know. It was covered Snapchat. by press. People were they like got mad at me. They, and then yo, now there's even like little like videos where it was, was Mike Malak right? Like, do yeah. podcasters cut other podcasters off? There's no one like, on the show who's more relatable. You're cutting yourself off through sound bites. Through chat GPT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those people 
they were Dude, mad at all... me. They were like, yo, it's like. Right? Yo, they, I won that. I know you I won, you that, won that, that one. I couldn't believe it. And they didn't realize that I was doing. It was we, all were, a joke. we were recreating a bit of Logan saying, look at the name. Episode, and bro. I was playing See that Logan. episode, bro. Yeah, I was playing that. But look, oh, people didn't real. realize that we were acting in that. And we yeah, got hate that's on that's it. another issue. I think they know everything about your life. They know they're 100% guaranteed. Yeah, but like, like he said, it's not the successful businessmen that are commenting. It's the dumb fucks that are anonymous accounts. They think they know everything about your life. I dealt with this for a long time, too. Quit the quickly and then let's get off this topic yeah. last note I, i'm sure you'll cut it down but last note on it that was always something i had trouble with because think about it like your shit's like oh is he really awkward or is he not awkward i had horrible like dude when i was dating lana there was horrible shit going on or when me and logan would get in a fight people would make these horrible assumptions and i would always go and i would try to combat those people's assumptions yeah. no this is what i'm really like no this is what i'm really like Guess what? They don't care. They want to assume what they want to assume because once again, it makes them feel better about the fact that they're trying to bring you back down to their level. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at it like this. You are a performer on a stage. If the people in the crowd think you're a swan, let them think you're a swan. If they think you're a giraffe, let them think you're a giraffe. If they think you're a plant, let them think you're a plant. As long as they're fucking watching, Steven. It doesn't matter if they're clapping or if they're booing. As long as they're watching, Steven. Because the sponsors, the viewership, the fucking algo, they don't care if they're clapping or booing or shitting or puking or awkward or this or man titties. <laughs> Get the viewership, do what you want, and have fun with it, bro. Be silly. Be silly. <laughs> Just be silly. What do you guys want to talk about? We got Aiden Ross, all the shit that's been going on with him. I know you've got um, close ties to him. We got Pete Davidson. We fucking, who's he nailing now? Somebody new? The, got oh, somebody Johnny, new Johnny Sack's wife from The Sopranos. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, the fat chick. No, I think he did a show that's kind of like his own life. That's like a Sopranos type type thing. What is this? Like a Curb Your Enthusiasm. Biden Biden administration is demanding for TikTok to be sold or it could be banned. The Chinese owned app has long been a concern for officials regarding the safety of America's data. You know, evidently TikTok is trying to, to shed the break away from the parent company, which is ByteDance out in China and create uh, its own entity of TikTok an American-owned entity. So there's no chance that TikTok accidentally floats over a nuclear facility in Montana. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. do can you I feel take, me? Can I take this one? Because I, like, I feel like you've said a lot of words this episode, and if we like, had a word counter, which I'm sure we have now with all this AI technology, then you'd way out, way Oh, and I'm here. sure, I'm sure that upsets you because God forbid the guest talks, right? We saw this on the last episode where you made me flip out because you made me shut up about a story. Kill the episode, bro. See yeah, ya. Get the wall. There we go. You're also a frequent guest. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're also a frequent, How, frequent are guest. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you <laughs> fucking stupid? <laughs> dude, <laughs> <if> somebody <laughs> take it away, dude. <laughs> there, is, there is never a reason for you to take his side over mine. <laughs> no. Any day ever. You I like idiot, on the bro. Same side. Yeah. So, TikTok, yeah, bad, ban and shit. Oh, no, it's not TikTok. It's just TikTok. Everybody's overreacting. All the adults are overreacting. We want to talk about weapons of mass destruction, AI. Little robots that work for Postmates that are delivering your food, that are driving up and down the street, you know, Azbula. There's all types of shit going on. What is the mass weapon of destruction? What are people going to use in the future? Because we didn't see, now they can weaponize viruses, they can weaponize little small little babies that are like adults inside with uh, spy cameras in their eyes. What if the big weapon is TikTok? What if it is the data? What if the people that own TikTok are just tapping into our phones and every time Steven jerks off, they're filming him, but jerking what, off, what jerking they, off, jerking off. Listen, 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 listen. What are they going to use it for? Blackmail in the future. They come to you. They come what? to everybody. When you're a adult and you're a businessman, not leaving comments on Reddit, you're doing business stuff, or you maybe you're a politician in the future. Good. Now you get blackmailed. We got all these videos. Every time you jerked off, we got footage of it, and we know the weird porn you were looking at. Why do they care about an individual? That's because they no, want to go. You're of power, so now you become you like a, a governor or you're like a, a senator. Now they want to take you down. They do oh. it in private, blackmail you. Okay, I'll just resign. I'll just fucking tell you where the nukes are. Just don't put this out. It's going to ruin my life, my family, you know, my, my relationship with my wife and kids. Because oh. you got videos of you jerking it when you were 21 and you were sad about Reddit and you just saw a fucking porn with like an animal or something. I don't know whatever you're into. <laughs> but maybe not you specifically. Maybe this is the next weapon of mass destruction is our data. They And they tap into our little cat. Why are you saying maybe? That is 100% happening, bro. Really? 100%. I just was throwing shit at the bro, wall right there. Bro, are you serious, there. dude? I mean, dude, look at what... 
our people are doing american owned corporations everybody here that has they're filming us jerking off 100 percent. every let's every, say com- china every person here that has facebook messenger signed an agreement that you have given facebook the ability to access your microphone when you're not using the app no if you way. have facebook messenger you signed that that don't have it well i'm telling you like this have you ever noticed that when you're at home and you have some girl over and she's like wow I didn't realize I was going to be on my period. 20 minutes later, sure enough, you're scrolling through Instagram and there's a Tampax ad. No. How did that happen? I'm not even a girl. Why would I get targeted with this? Because Mark Zuckerberg is at home listening to your conversations. He personally is listening to everyone's there conversations. Are some very strong well. Chinese internet. And he's going to and so when it yeah, when it comes to China, of course they're looking at Steven Jerkoff, dude. Not yeah. just you, all your friends. As they should. 100%, dude. I could 1,000% see that being the case. Have you seen Black Mirror? They get the video of the dude. Oh, they do do something like that, right? Is that with the killer bees or something? No, he was like. Or no, they made him fuck to... the pig? Yeah, they make him fuck the pig, the politician. And he's a yeah. politician. Maybe that's what I was thinking of yeah. when I was saying no, that. No, there's yeah. also that kid. Uh, I think it's like the first episode where he's like looking at child. Oh, that's the one. Sorry. The pig fucking got. Can't. That's a politician. Yeah, the kid that's watched. And they get him. They found, they see him doing it and they make him like do a he, hit. They, no, they make they, him they, kill someone or something. Yeah, they make uh, they send like other people that were watching like child two to like kill each other. And then uh, I don't even remember exactly those lines. He ends up dying at the end. Everybody ends up dying at the end. Why are they not making more Black Mirrors? You know, I, I missed that show. It was so good. The best. Got shut well, down. the final season was terrible. Yeah, they fucked it up at the end. I hate to say it, dude, but a lot of these shows go. You know what they say. I don't say this, but like you know how those people say like go woke, go broke. Remember that that um dual ninjas episode where they made the guy the men like play a video game and like hook up and they fucked in the video game. What was the one called? Twisted Cobras. Yeah, I'm too. We're too young for this. No, it's the last season of Black Mirror, dude. Everybody watching this on the subreddit seen it. <laughs> Man. Well, fighting pythons. Come on, look up the episode, please. Oscar. Wait, hold on. This is a. An emergency so she was home break alone it, when breaking she thought news. a rumble was an earthquake. Turns out the jolt happened when a car careened into the teen's house. A car driven by former Saturday Night Live star Pete Davidson, who had his new girlfriend with him. Why is they gonna throw in the girl? He reportedly hit a fire hydrant before. He who's hit he, who's the house. he dating? I was always. Whoa, oh, he took mess. out a whole water gushing out of a fire hydrant. Damage to the seven million dollar house. Seven. Yeah, hold on a second. <laughs> seven <laughs> million dollar house. That's I seven million. What? If that's seven million, I had got a bridge to sell to you in Arizona. Wait, is that how you say it? <laughs> I don't know what you just that said. Is, you know, that is. That is, dude. Too, I'm sorry, bro. There's there is not a single place on earth where that house costs seven million dollars. Trust me, I know. That is not fucking seven million dollars. They, they got a. Uh, Hype it That's up for Beverly the, Hills for the content. You know, you clickbaited Logan's house sixteen mil. It's probably fifteen, <laughs> fourteen. I guess technically. Did you that... add a couple mil on Logan's house in the thumbnail? No, it's how much the house cost. It's actually sixteen on the dot. No, I think it was fifteen. Yeah. I threw an extra million. That's what I'm on. saying. It's probably six. This is inside edition of news publication with eleven million followers. They're probably a lot more credible than than you with your thumbnails. You know? Why would you say that? You say and like Jeff. many on this platform, Are you have successfully used my name for views and money. Are you saying right now that you trust a mainstream media outlet? Corporation. Is that what you're saying, Jeff? You're yeah, saying you trust sense to me. the mainstream. Well, just say this. I, Jeff Wittick, fully trust <laughs> the mainstream media. That. No, say no, it. No, say no. it. Go ahead. Say it. No, I fucking trust anonymous Redditors before I trust them. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're people. <laughs> This show's fucking stupid. It's dumb, but it's fucking smarter <laughs> it's than the other show that you do. What? I mean, mm. what do you do over there? Oh, uh, so who'd you wrestle this week, Logan? Stupid George, Damn. shut up. You want to talk about Jesus? <laughs> yeah. Who's Jesus? Is that Jesus with cheese? Jesus? Yeah. I don't know, bro. No, the, the other show you do is cool. I like those guys. <laughs> well, the- next episode's going to be funny when the drone flies in. Read the wall. People are not going to like that bit, man. Well, too late. Edit it out. It's the end of the show. Doesn't That's literally matter. the last thing you were like, what's your Instagram? Shout it out. Don't write checks your ass can't cash. Don't you flew a shit. fucking drone into the one of the biggest podcasts on the planet. <laughs> and you're trying to tell me. To Imagine I did that. Mad? By the way, like, by the way, which, which, which I just saw like an hour ago that the, the uh, promotion hanging off the bottom of it actually got cleared to stay in too. Because oh, we would yeah. always, we would always blur it. Number one but podcast Logan, in the world. No. We yeah, Jeff 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 Real mad. No, L- Logan said it can stay in. Oh, man. The Jeff FM promotion. Cool. So you're getting a big, that's a pretty valuable plug. I mean, we get like the same views pretty much. 
Look at how mad. Look at how mad. <laughs> Our last four episodes have like fucking eight, seven million views on. Same, them. same as ours. Check the numbers, bro. Shit's changed over here. All right, we got new deodorant out. We got a new our new jackets out when this episode comes clips? out. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, I knew you've been waiting to play. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta dive into that. Who's that? Another guy that's banned. It's another guy that got banned on YouTube. We just talked about the bands. Steve uh, will do it. Nah. We got Andrew Tate. We got uh, Alex Jones. <laughs> so is he going batshit crazy now? Waving guns Started around Dancing on the around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you. Waving his gun around and dancing. You want to watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You want, to wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you were? Now the reason he keeps saying watch my clips while threatening me here is because during the stream I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting slurs. So I said watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. It's like streamers are our new rappers. This, this is, like is our new rap piece of guns. But he's a fucking imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have there is Look not at this. clips. <laughs> like, this These two pulls out of street sweepers. They're mad. Two pulls out of street sweepers. You absolute fucking dummy. G Fuel sponsor in the back. The that this <laughs> is also... Yo, what do you think the G Fuel people watching this are like? Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. <laughs> he did crush him with that. That was a good... That was a good... I mean... I don't, I've no, I don't have any He opinion, destroyed him. Opinion Come on. Opinion. You don't I have, have no it? opinion what do you? This. What do you want to say? Uh, probably switch Graham. Listen, bro. That's not an option. I don't give a fuck. Pick a side. I don't give a fuck. And talk shit on the one that you didn't pick. Uh, I don't give a fuck about this, dude. Neither like, there's certain things you have to have no opinion on. That's another thing I'll tell you. This shit is so fucking stupid. If they want to box, that'd be great. That yeah, I would care That about. would be cool. This is like pulling up like a, a Dylan Dennis uh, tweet to 1, me right now. 1,000%. But I don't get it. I'm not into streamers and Twitch and people beefing about. There's so many, bro. How like, are you supposed to watch every one of these fucking little topics. kids, bro? But it's just cool. They're, they're like, like pulling guns on each other on a on a stream. Yeah, that's you know? dope. That part's that part's cool. It's funny, but like it's 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 real cringe, you know. That's actually the other crazy. guy that pulled out his as a way of like, no, you got this wrong. And no, that, like, was, that, that was that was cool. sick. Well, no, he won that one. Evident. I mean. It seems like and the only way for him to come back and for the other guy to come back and win would be to can we end the show let's end we've the show. been just what? crazy bro this that's is wild huh show, yeah. i'm just goofing like, just being silly fucking, i'm just being that's silly. Not silly that's really not silly okay let's end it with a better i'm not thing. serious i don't give a fuck dude what you do are you fucking <laughs> 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 wait hold on what else is going on what's uh so who's the last girl? Who's the last girl you had sex with? All right, can we wrap it up, dude? Honestly, was it the girl? Play the was it the music. slap play the music. Was it the play the music? Oscar, it play the music, please. <laughs> Just play the music. Was it the podium? No, girl? we have enough. We got plenty. Oscar, play because you have to cut all this. He used yeah. to be out on the corner. Wow, he was big day, big day today. Short episode. No, we lost the clips. What do you mean? Oh wait, oh wait, hold on. Ryan texted me about the weather segment. He said I was calling life coaches gay. I don't know if that came across. That's why my program was on. Okay. I don't know if that clears you for whatever you're trying to say, but you're done, bro. <laughs>